Prophet of Allah ever spoke about it. That this had to be saved until the very last Prophet. What is there so important about a one-eyed man? There was a one-eyed man in 1967 who was a very, a very good general. Huh? Moshe Dayan. There was a one-eyed man who led the British fleet to defeat the French at Trafalgar. Lord Nelson. Huh? So one-eyed men could do great things. So what is there so significant about Dajjal's one eye? Hmm? Maybe it is not to be understood literally. Huh? Let's see. Let's see. Dajjal has the word kafir written between his eyes on his forehead. Kafir. And every mu'min will be able to read it. Oh? So what about those who are not mu'min? Don't they have eyes too? How come they can't read? And this one can read. Maybe he's not reading with these eyes, huh? Maybe. Let's see. Every mu'min will be able to read it, whether he is katib, can read and write, or ghair katib. He cannot read and write, he'll still be able to read it. So now it's clear. Now it's clear. He's not reading with these eyes. If he's not reading with these eyes, with which eyes is he reading? Do we have any other eyes beside these eyes? Do we have any other ears beside these ears? Once you can answer that question, you have penetrated the major ground of attack of the jaw. The jaw sees with one eye indicates that the jaw has only external vision. And therefore knowledge comes only from external vision, the external senses. The jal is blind in the right eye indicates that the jal is internally blind. The Quran says, the Quran says, many ayat, many ayat, the Quran says that the heart when the heart has Iman in it and when Allah confers upon it Nur like Mawlana Abdul Alim Siddiqui Rahimahullah when Allah confers upon it Nur then the heart can see and the heart can hear and so Dajjal is blind in the right eye Dajjal is internally blind when Dajjal launches his attack, therefore, what he does is that he reduces people to a state of internal blindness. They see with only their external vision now. But said the Prophet to Islam, Dajjal comes with two things. What are the two things? A handphone and a computer? Huh? Huh? Dajjal comes with two things. He comes with, help me somebody, help me somebody. Huh? No. He comes with two things. Come on somebody. Yes? Jannah and Jahannam. He comes with a river and a fire says the Prophet ﷺ. He comes with a river and a fire. But his river is a fire. And his fire is the cool waters of a river. Whoever falls in his river will have his load of sin increased. 
And whoever falls in his fire would be relieved of his load of sins. Hmm? In other words, the age of the Jal will be an age in which appearance and reality would be completely different from each other. If judgment is based only on external observation, then judgment will be based on external appearance. But the internal reality is different. And so judgment would be wrong. And this is why Surah Al-Kahf has given us the story of Come on somebody. Of? Of? Yes. Of Musa alayhi salam and Khidr alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam because of a certain answer that he gave. We don't have the time to tell you the story now. He is now seeing with only his external sign. And on three occasions he formulates judgment based only on external observation. Number one, the boat. The boat? The boat? How come only some people are shaking their heads? And the others are looking at me strangely. Do you read Surah Huh? The boat? Huh? Number two, the boy? Number three, the wall. For those of you who are not shaking your head, you better go and read Surah Al-Kaf now. Eh? <laughs> On all three occasions, he's wrong. He's wrong. His judgment is wrong. So, even if you have a PhD from MIT, huh? if, you, if your judgment is based only on knowledge which is externally derived, then in the age of Dajjal, you'll be wrong. You'll be deceived. Because reality is the opposite of appearance. In order to be able to penetrate reality, and how great is Allah's wisdom now. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. How great is He? How great is His wisdom? That in the last age, the only ones who will be able to penetrate external, of external appearance to reach to the reality of things, in consequence of which they will not be deceived. The only ones then will be those in whose heart there is faith. Maybe the beard is there. Mashallah. Maybe the hat is there. Mashallah. Maybe he's in the masjid five times a day. Mashallah. But maybe nothing is in the heart. <laughs> nothing in the heart. So he can't see. But when the heart is turned to Allah, when the heart submits to Allah, when the heart says, I live for you, I'll die for you, then that heart, Allah will confer upon it nur. And when such a person sees with that nur, listen to this hadith. My teacher Mawlana Fadlur Rahman Ansari Rahimahullah was so fond of quoting this hadith from the Sunan of Tirmizi. The Prophet said Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam He said Ittaku firasat al-mu'min fa innahu yanzuru bin nurillah Fear that awesome intuitive internal spiritual insight of the true mu'min because when he sees he sees with the nur of Allah and so this is the jaws major weapon to reduce people to 
internal 